Hi, I'm Edina City Manager Scott Neal and you're watching On The Job, a show where we introduce you to the city employees that keep Edina going and show you some things that can only be learned on the job. You're joining me today in Todd Park uh, at the corner of Division and Rutledge Avenue and we're going to talk today about trees. I'm going to introduce you first of all to our city forester. His name is Luther Overholt. Luther. Morning Scott. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you too. Tell us a little bit about what you do as a city forester for the city of Edina. Um, so besides just caring for all the trees, uh, one of the other main objectives I have now is uh, dealing with all the building permits and all the teardowns going on here in the city. Uh -huh. And so every teardown I go out there first uh, before they start demoing to assess the trees on the lot okay. and work with uh, the builders and owners on their tree plan. Because your idea, you want to try to protect as many of those trees as possible, right? Yes, correct. So you do you do a lot of uh, tree protection in general, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So what kind of things, what kind of duties do you do in terms of protecting our trees? And um, Making sure that uh, all the diseased trees in the city are uh, managed correctly. So that's uh, you know Dutch elm, oak wilt, uh, and uh, we're on the lookout for emerald ash borer now. Right. So one of the things you have to do as our city forester is you have to interact with residents when there's a tree issue. Yep. And I know that can be difficult because some people have lived with the tree. It's just like a member of their family. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. how do you how do you assess that and how do you deal with that? Um, it's uh, well, I've been been working here seasonally for a while now so I kind of got a, a handle on um, you know people and you know their love of trees but um, you know I work with the residents on you know finding uh, you know other ways to maybe possibly use the the wood for furniture or if they can to you know keep it on site and burn it. Well we've uh, you know we can talk about trees all day or we could do something like plant a tree and I know we're gonna plant a tree today in Todd yep. Park so why don't, we, uh, why don't we get busy and we can keep talking about this, but let's plant a tree, all right? All right, let's get started. Let's do it. Got everything in my truck over here. So uh, these look like shovels to me, Luther. Yep. I thought you guys would have like a machine That's, to do this. You got one on either side of you there. Okay, it's a machine, I guess. All right. So yeah, we'll prop this up. And so here I got my white stake and my flag. So um, before I plant any tree or do any digging anywhere in the city, uh, I call 811 because okay. uh, anytime you dig it is dangerous. You want to make sure you get this done first so that uh, you don't go down there and get electrocuted or something like right. that. But now that we have that done, we can pull the stake, pull the flag. So there's nothing in here. There's no so there's nothing in. overhead electric and yeah. there's no uh, yeah, irrigation. There's no irrigation or anything, like or anything okay. in here. And um, we'll probably, so usually want to dig a hole about twice the size of the tree you're planting and so we'll probably want something maybe about you know three feet around and then we'll go down about you know a foot and a half or so okay so I'll go get some gloves and uh, come over and start helping you get uh, get digging well I, maybe I'll be done by the time you get back <laughs> All right, so remind me again uh, what kind of tree we're planting here. Um, so this is a, uh, a horse chestnut or a, an Ohio Buckeye, and this is the Autumn Splendor variety. So in the fall, these leaves will going from, be going from green to you know, nice yellow and red and uh, some nice fall, fall colors. You're sure there's no, there's not a machine that does this. This is what we do, we do it by hand. Well. Because it's more caring. Yeah, we'd we figure we'd care we'd give you the, the full experience today. Full experience today, okay. So do we have to water these trees too? Yep. On a, on a, how often do you water so trees? So I try to get out there every every week um, with newer newer ones like this. Um, after I've had them planted for, oops, sorry. Oops. Uh, no, for a couple years then, you know, maybe if there's a dry spell or something like that, we'll go and uh, go and water them. OK, 
Okay, look at that. All right, before we put it in there, see all these roots? Yep, you gotta. So yeah, we're gonna cut cut some of those. Okay. So that uh, once it's in the ground, those roots don't keep circling. Yeah. And uh, you know, if you don't cut those, they can go around and end up girdling uh, the the tree. All right. Holy mackerel. What do you call that? So this is just a pruning saw. So okay. not normally what it's meant for, but it'll get the job done. And so I'm gonna go and um, can leave it straight up and down. I'm gonna put a square cut on it. So since it's so it's there's so many roots going all the way around, yeah. I'm gonna actually go and take about an inch off oh. each side here okay. and go from having the circle to a square just to make sure that none of those roots um, can go around and girdle the tree. Good idea. All right, straight from this side. Go check over here again. That looks straight to me. So, all right, we'll keep filling her in. All right, Luther, we, we, we planted our tree. It looks like it's healthy. Looks like it's gonna be here for 60, 70, 80 years, maybe, yep. you think? So Luther, taking care of trees is an expensive, uh, expensive area of city business. We spend a lot on it, residents spend a lot on it. How do we determine when a resident uh, pays for a tree to be removed versus when the city will pay for a tree to be removed? Um, so here, we maintain all of uh, the trees on city property. Uh, but our residents are responsible for all of their trees on their property, um, including the right of way. Okay. Um, we'll come into the right of way for you know water shutoffs and stuff, but uh, all the trees there are considered private property here. So, so over here, I'm just going to point at these trees over here. Mm -hmm. You have that house there, and that tree is pretty close to the curb line. Yep. Probably in the city right of way. Yep. Uh, it, but it's part of their yard as well, so they would have to maintain yep. that so tree. Yeah, just okay. like they go and they mow the front strip of the yard, they okay. maintain the trees on the, the front of the yard as well. But but these trees behind us, uh, yeah, that's these a, ones and on all these in the property, park. Those are all trees we maintain. Yep, right, exactly. Well, listen, this has been a, a great experience. Uh, I've always wanted to plant a tree. I've planted <laughs> lots of things in my life, but really never a tree. So all right, great. Uh, this is an important thing we do for our town and, and our residents uh, think trees are important too. And you know that probably better than anybody. Yep. So thanks for teaching me how to do this today. All right, Appreciate thank what you, you Scott. do for the city. Anytime. You've been watching On The Job, a show where we introduce you to the city employees that keep Edina going and show you some things that can only be learned on the job. <laughs>